So this vlog is a little bit different. I've discussed my backpack addiction problem before and my new problem is on a whole nother level. I mean, if you think about it, it isn't really my fault. I mean, I, I work for this outdoor place, Epic TV, you may have heard of them, and we make videos and people send me climbing shoes. Let me show you. So as you can see, this has got a little bit out of hand and I'll be honest, I haven't exactly been organising it particularly well. So what I thought I'd do today is take you through the climbing shoes that I own, that I use, that I like or stuff that I don't like so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through the climbing shoes that I've currently got in my cupboard. Now, as I said before, brands tend to send me these shoes. So maybe I'll turn up an event and they'll be like, here you go, try these out, let us know what you think, or make a video, or do something. So this is not a paid video, but 90% of these shoes I have not bought. Uh, but that doesn't mean I can't tell you guys what I really feel about them. And honestly, I wouldn't wear a shoe, and there are some that have gone in the bin, that I don't like. So uh, here's the ones that I've got that I'm using that I like. So let's start off with some favourites that I bought years and years ago now. The old Scarpa Vapor V shoes. Now there is an update of these but this is the original and the reason I like these is how stiff they are. Crazy crazy stiff uh, Vibram XS Grip 2 rubber though. And I bought these when I was living in the Peak District in Sheffield and these were brilliant on gritstone. They stood up to indoor climbing abuse well. They worked well on limestone, those little tiny edges. I like the Velcro, but what I liked most about these was the price. You could pick these up from Decathlon for something ridiculous like 50 to 60 quid I think. So I bought these uh, and I've been wearing these non-stop and I haven't actually gone through these yet. So until very recently these were my indoor training shoes. Then I took them deep water soloing and they got a bit icky and I haven't worn them since then. But these are my go-to training shoes, uh, indoor shoes. They take an absolute beating and I love them to bits. Second Scarpa pair of shoes I've got is these. Oh my God, I can't remember the name of them. Force X, the Force X shoes. Now the reason I've got these is they're comfortable alpine climbing shoes. So. As you can see, the padding on the Force X's is a lot thicker than on the uh, Vapor V's. So this is warmer when it gets colder. So if I'm like climbing up the midi at like 3.8 or something meters, thousand meters, and it's a bit cold, but I don't want to be wearing socks, these keep my feet warm in the summer. And again, I like the Velcro so I can take them on and off quickly on a belay. The rubber is good. Uh, and they're surprisingly techy, like I've climbed up to sort of 6B trad in these and they feel absolutely fine, like never a problem. They're slightly too small for me. So I'm a UK eight and a half, I think, street size. These are UK seven. Um, for really long routes, these are a bit too small, but for stuff where it's like a pitch, I get to take them off, pitch, I take them off. These are brilliant and they're my sort of longer pitch climbing shoe of choice if I'm going high. Let's move on to sport climbing shoes. Uh, sport climbing shoes are a funny one for me uh, because until, well I never used to like sport climbing that much. I was a track climber, I was a boulderer and sport climbing was something I did just for fitness but moving to Europe uh, you get into sport climbing pretty quickly. So the first sport climbing shoe I want to show you is another Scarpa shoe. There's a theme going on here. And this is the Scarpa Instinct Lace. Now, I was given these to test for a long-term basis, wrote a few articles for Epic TV on these, and I wanted a lace-up shoe that wasn't super, super tight that I could wear on sport climbs, really. So as I said before, I'm a UK 8.5, and, and these are a UK 7.5, and, uh, and I fitted into them quite well, and they moulded to my feet beautifully. And when I first started off with these, these felt pretty stiff. Uh, they very quickly became softer and more malleable. The grip is XS Edge, I like the lace up, I liked how comfortable they were. They've got this wonderful sock-like feel upper which means you can just slide your feet in and they feel beautiful. 
However, as you can see from the sort of shape of them, where it's like a weird zigzaggy shape, they do not keep their shape particularly well. And they've gone sort of a little bit soggy, if that means anything. So I find if I'm climbing an indoor holds, there's not quite enough pressure on those little holds and they get just a bit wishy-washy and the same on outdoor climbs. So these started off brilliant. I liked them less as I wore them more. And now this is again sort of like more of a comfortable shoe or an indoor shoe for me. I don't know about this, like it's the most comfortable, it's probably the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. And I really enjoyed them for the first six months and then, oh, well, six months, three, four months of me wearing them. And then, yeah, lost my sight from them a little bit, but still a cool shoe. Uh, the next one I have to talk about because I've raved about it on Epic TV is the 510 Blanco. Now, I went through this phase where I decided that stiff shoes were old fashioned and I should be looking at more soft shoes and all that kind of stuff. And then we got a pair of these uh, for a product shoot and I, they look so beautiful basically that I thought I had to wear them. Started wearing them and I was immediately blown away. Stealth C4 rubber, and this thing is like a weapon. It's so stiff. It's so stiff. It's just manly stiff. Uh, it's amazing for little limestone nubbins and edges and things, and the power that you can put through these things. I've said it before, but it's like a weapon. Like I honestly feel like I'm tooling up for a fight when I put these on. Um, yeah, it makes you feel invincible. I love the white colour, although it's going a little bit brown now. I wear these a lot. Uh, perfectly flat profile, not downturned at all. Just a gorgeous, sexy, stiff climbing shoe, and I love it. Second sport climbing shoe is these La Sportiva Mura XX. Now it's funny, I wore these in Thailand pretty much every single day when I was climbing there, and uh, I've never had so many comments on a shoe, which I find interesting, because people were genuinely like, oh my God, what is that? That looks so cool. Is that Adam Andre's signature shoe? Blah, blah, blah. And it is, it's a very good shoe. It feels a bit exclusive, and it feels nice to be wearing it. Not which that affects the performance, but just feels nice. Uh, it's got this P3 system in it, which is meant to keep the downturn, but as you can see, actually, it's kind of gone in a bit of a weird shape, but I think that's probably because I was climbing in a very humid environment. Again, these are very stiff, uh, very, very stiff. It's got Vibram XS Edge rubber on them. The lace-up is nice, the upper feels good. It's a very precise shoe, um, whereas the 510 Blanco just feels like a sort of a grunting weapon of a beast of a thing. This, I feel like I can be very, very precise and accurate with my foot movements. I climbed up to 7B in this thing, haven't pushed it too much further, so I'm not sure what we're doing in the higher grades. But I really like it. Uh, I'm about to go to Greece and I'm going to pack these. I've just decided that. Moving on to sort of bouldering shoes, uh, my current bouldering shoe of choice, and has been for a while, is the Scarpa Instinct VSR. Now I mainly wanted these, and I won't lie, because of the blue colour, which is my favourite colour. And I just thought they looked like a cool shoe. Just I like all the little features, the designs on them. Love this big rubber section on the toe. I like the aggressive downturn and the slipper style of them. So yeah, slipper style shoe. Uh, what size are these? It's a good question. Wait, why, why did they put it there? Eight. So these are a UK eight. I'm a UK eight and a half. Uh, they're tight, but not crazy tight. And But you know, it's a bouldering shoe, so you take them on and off quite a lot. Um, I like the split design, so it's got that flexibility in it, which is brilliant for overhanging moves when you need to hook that toe in. Uh, rubber tensioning throughout, the rubber is very grippy, very nice. It's an expensive shoe, this is not cheap, uh, but it's lovely. It's worn in really nicely as well. A lot of people were saying it's very stiff out of the box and takes a while to break in, and I would agree with that. I've been wearing this for almost a year now, and it is a lot, lot softer than when it started. But I like that, it kind of wears with your feet and with the style of climbing. But don't expect this to be some kind of soft slipper thing straight out of the box because it's not. So yeah, if I had to pack a bouldering shoe, especially if I was going to font, I would bring these Scarpa Instinct VSRs. A bouldering shoe that I've started wearing recently, uh, not just bouldering, actually sport climbing as well, is the Quantum VCSs. Now I'm gonna say this a little bit because I'm gonna do a full review on Epic TV. Stealth C4 rubber, which, is my favourite rubber. It's my favourite rubber in the world. Stealth C4 rubber is my favourite. I've said it, I'm standing by it. I think it's super sticky. It's not the most durable thing in the world, but it's so sticky and so positive that I don't care about that. Like, that's a minor bad thing. So these are very cool. Uh, I'm gonna do a full review on Epic TV. Uh, I'll give you one good point, one bad point. 
Uh, the good point is just the amount of grip you get out of these. Uh, and that's to do with the Stealthy 4 rubber, it's to do with the stiffness of them. They're really stiff, especially in this midsole section. What I don't like about them is there's this huge tongue bit, which is very comfortable, but actually doesn't fit my feet particularly well. I've got quite narrow feet, and for some reason this makes them feel quite wide. And I have to really crank that Velcro in to make them feel secure. Full review, full, full review, Epic TV coming soon. Boreal Mutants, Boreal Mutants. So, uh, I love these shoes, absolutely love them. I filmed a vlog with these when I first used them, and I literally started wearing them and wore them for everything. Sport climbing, bouldering, track climbing, big climbing, everything I had with Boreal Mutants on. And they're still going strong. Like, they're still going, and I have battered these things. Zenith rubber, which is something I'd never used before, but I'm very impressed with. This lateral torque system keeps everything stiff. So it's got that flexible midsole section, but it has got that stiffness to it. I like the single strap, almost like a slipper. Really comfortable, slip it on, like a slipper, beautiful. This front bit is made of a sort of, it's not a single piece of rubber, it's like sprayed on Zenith rubber. And I thought it would just flake off and be gone in a couple of months. And it started to, there are little bits, little holes appearing, but generally it stayed pretty much on the shoe, which I'm actually impressed by and didn't expect it. This is now my indoor climbing shoe. So whenever I go training, uh, I wear these because they're a bit more comfortable than these. And these feel a bit blocky, whereas these feel very soft and delicate and just homely. Can you have a climbing shoe? This is a homely shoe. So this is my climbing shoe of choice indoors and for training. 510 high angle. Have never worn them. Never worn these. I mean, they're pristine. I mean, they're a bit scuffed up and then they're covered. Aggressive downturn, uh, Stealthy 4 rubber, very stiff. As we all know, this is like the comp climber's shoe of choice. You see all of them wearing it. This is the old model. So the new model has stopped that Smurf feet thing. So these dye your feet blue, basically. I don't know why I haven't worn these yet. I just haven't got around to it, really. So yeah, these are for when everything else breaks. And finally, 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 a brand new pair of Mad Rock drones so shiny. I've been trying to keep them in the box to keep them shiny. These are their new very aggressive downturn shoes and they're gorgeous, beautifully designed. This huge toe patch here, which is really cool. Split midsole, not all the way, which is interesting. Never climbed on a shoe like that before. It's a weird Velcro system where you can strap it in two ways. Now, I can't wait to try these, but they are slightly too small for me. So this is a UK 8 and they're really on the tight side, which is unusual. So. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit tight. Perhaps too tight, but time will tell. They might ease into my feet. But yeah, we'll see. These are Madrock Drone, I didn't even call them a name, what are they? Madrock Drone HVs. Coming soon. So there you go. So out of my collection, if I had to pick a sport climbing shoe, La Sportiva Mura XX, the Adam Ondra signature. If I had to pick a bouldering shoe, Scarpa Instinct VSR, especially in Fontainebleau. And my indoor climbing shoe, Boreal Mutants, which has to take probably the award for one of my favorite shoes in the last two years, because it's a do everything, absolute beast. And I didn't expect to love it, and I love it. That's it. That is it. Shoes done. I've wrecked my apartment. All links for stuff like this, if the Epic TV shop sell it, will be in the copy below this episode. Uh, so yeah, check them out. It's my recommendations. I am in no way an expert, nor really know what I'm talking about, but I climb quite a lot, and I wear a lot of shoes, so yeah, that's it. Bye.